guys, it's Tamian here from the Gaming Odyssey, and welcome back to Let's Play Newer Super Mario Bros. Wii. Last part, we finished up Ward 3 Mushroom Peaks and unlocked the second mini ward of the game, or to be um, Tiny Huge Island. And every time you go to a new area, you have a new title screen. So this is this ward's one, which is kind of, which is the one from New Super Mario Bros. Wii, except like the flowers and all are, are giant. It's really cool, and I like how that game does that. So the plan for today's episode is to get through all of Ward B. We only have four levels left and for me um, I think that is really doable. So we're going to jump in here to our save file. By the way guys, thank you so much for watching this Let's Play and supporting it. It's been one of the most fun time I've had creating content in a while. So Mini Mega Island, B2 Pint Size Plane. So last Level was mighty metal, pretty big. So today we're gonna to be going small here, jumping in. And is that the original New Super Mario Bros. Wii background? Well, yes, it is. First of all, I love how they brought it back. It's only for like one or two levels in this world, but it is pretty amazing. And the remix is back. And oh, so we're going wrong here, Koopas, Goombas, but that's a star coin down there. And that's a buzzy beetle. Well, how do we get to that? Well, we take this warp pipe and ta-da, we are there. Yeah, we're in that little mini area. But we got to be careful with these platforms. And we saw a buzzy beetle before and there he is. Bury the buzzy beetle and we will get the first star coin. I love this gimmick. I love how you go to that mini area. It's so cool. I, I definitely think it has so much life to this level, and they do a lot with it here. This the developer team is like, you know, we have this tiny, huge area. We want to do the best with it. And we have a boomerang, bro. Thankfully, he's not giant. That would be pretty. <laughs> that would not be fun. And can we catch this coin? We can. And we have the yellow P switch activated, so we can actually go up here. Have a pow block, and yeah, that's this makes this section a cake block. And there we go, we have some coins. Can't believe we already had 71 lives. And this is water section now. I forgot what the star coins are here. Um, is there anything over there? Or I think we just hop in, so we have a bit of another transformation. Now we go to that huge area. I, I love that, I think it's so cool. Giant cheap cheeps, not the most fun thing, but. There we go. I don't think we've ever had giant or a kind of tiny huge area in the water. I don't know. I don't think we've ever had. Correct me if I'm wrong. Why are you at the um, checkpoint? A shorter level, but it's still one of my favorites, I think, in terms of the uniqueness. Definitely up there. And is there anything else? Oh, there's a... Whoa! A huge star coin. But we can't get it here, so we have to go... Giant, and I, I love that, it's, it's so neat. And if you go up here, oh, well, there's a switch, and we'll hit that and activate the star coin. And we shall get it. There we go, we got the fire flower, and I feel like we're pretty much done here with the level. We have some piranha plants, different color pipes. I did, usually gold means there's a star coin, is there a star coin in here? I, I doubt there is. Yeah, there is not. Jump on the Goomba and bam, get that guy. And we have a one up, but we also have another Boomerang Bro. Is it a vine? In one of these? I doubt there is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> got that. And it looks like there's, oh, there's a last Star Coin. So we got this little mini section. How did we not get hit there? What the heck? Oh my goodness. Oh, we have giant munchers. This is gonna be fun. What the heck? Is it like an invincibility star here? Oh, do they? Hold on. I'm gonna wait for Goomba to pass by. Get that, and there we go. I love how they brought back the new Super Mario Bros. Wii theme. I guess guys, that'll be the question of the day. What is your favorite 2D Mario game? 
or 2D Mario platformer. For me, when I look at a 2D Mario platformer, they're all good. But which one stands out to me the most? And I think I have to go with Super Mario World on the SNES. I know Super Mario World is kind of the answer most people give, but I love it. The cake feathers are exciting. Yoshi's a great inclusion as well. There's a secret exit. Okay, I'll, I'll probably... Let's do B-3 and then I'll edit back to on the exit after we do that here. Troopa Shell, track. But for me, um, I, I personally feel like that, you know, the Cake Fairy Yoshi are just so fun in Super Mario World. And you probably heard this, but you know Yoshi was going to be a Koopa originally? Speaking of which, we have giant Koopa shells in this level. Oh, here's a Goomba. All right, do we have Yoshi? Since there's a Yoshi food, I feel like we do. I feel like he's up there. Come on, Mario. Uh, there we go, and we don't. Okay, so maybe that's just there for a bit of decoration, which you can't complain about. I mean, also, Super Mario Bros. 3 is good. Growing up, Super Mario Bros. 3 was, like, the game everyone talked about. It was, like, the best video game ever made. It was that in Ocarina of Time. Super Mario Bros. 3 and Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time were the two games that people praised the most. I really like Mario 3. I mean, I love the power-ups in it. I love the level design. It's very innovative. That's for sure. I just like Super Mario World a bit better. I know that's a very common debate people have, but for me, it's kind of like New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. Both are really good, but I just feel like Super Mario World built upon what uh, Mario 3 did. Both amazing games, obviously, but we have Goomba down here. Oh, that actually kills enemies. That's cool. So this was actually, I believe, in the original game, going in the shelves. It was in, like, the jungle area, Ward 5, if I'm not mistaken. Also... I'm gonna check my right well. New Super Mario Bros. Wii was the game that was kind of my first Mario 2D platformer, so that's why I know a lot about this game. This was the game that I played a lot on the Wii because it was kind of like one of the main. The, kind of that Galaxy was my main 3D Mario game, and this Mar, New Super Mario Bros. Wii was my main 2D Mario game, so. That's how it worked out. I mean, I really do like New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I know people have issues with the new Super Mario Bros. series. I I think DS is cool. DS is neat. Um, there's no star coin. DS is neat. Wii's pretty fun. I don't like 2 at all. I think 2 is very when it gets boring for me. U I really like because I, I do think U does some things different. But it's still a good game but not excellent. So that's kind of my quick... Um, Ranking of them. Okay. I like how they give you the block instead of the actual propel mushroom. Oh no! Wait, where's the last star coin at? Uh, what? Hold on, let me go back. Where? Is it in here? It is! Wow, they hide that. Well, newer team, this is amazing. Out of all the mini wards, we still have three left. This is probably my favorite. Um, I, I mean, I, do I like this better than Gold War Forest? Yes, I, I like Gold War Forest, and yes, I love the fall theme, but I just think this game has really great, or this area, ward has just great game design in that takes you there. So you know what? Well, we're actually going to do this level. Cheap, cheap creek. And then we're actually going to... You know what, guys? I'm actually going to go by... Um, let's just play this level. And then after this, before we end out the video, I'll show you that secret exit at the very end here. And what did we get? The fire flower. So a swimming level and... This, I like how this game doesn't have too many water levels, but this one, we have some giant enemies here. Can we do this with Fire Mario? I was going to go buy a penguin suit beforehand. And stuff. I'm like, nah. I don't know, guys. Water levels have never bothered me. They're a nice pace, you know, from the fast pace or the slow pace. Like, speaking of Mario 3, people I know really don't like 
the frog suit, but it does help you swim in that game. And I just never got the hate for the frog suit. Yeah, okay, it's con annoying con to control, but it helps you swim. I mean, it's a decent power up. And Super Mario World also, in my opinion, has some of the best water levels in all of Mario. It's just really well done. So at the first star point there with these urchins. Um, is there a star point up there? It is not. Let's kill this dude. Um, I did play through this level before recording just to make sure. And down here, so you go in three pipes. This one down here is actually the one that leads you to the star coin. So we will go on that. And get that one with these urchin guys. Pretty neat. Is this a score from the original game for the water theme? I think it is, so let's just, we'll just continue here. Fire Flower is pretty useful in this game. And we will do that. There's an urchin up top there. Alrighty, so we'll go in here. But yeah, I really wait. I, I really like this idea, and I hope Nintendo brings this huge gimmick huge tiny gimmick back sometime in the future. I don't know what the future of 2D Mario games is. I mean, I'd like them to make another 2D adventure game, but you just never know. Um, I'm trying to find out, because I played through this before, I couldn't find out the last Star Coin, but yeah, I've always liked that gimmick. Is there something up here? No, there is not. I like this level. It's well paced and not, it's a good swimming level. Oh, it's right there. Uh oh. Come on. No, 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 no. Shoot. Alright, I'm gonna have to come back and get that. that. That is a pain to do. And on the bottom there, so this is the main green pipe, but actually on the bottom is a secret one. Man, that star coin is not easy to get. And just, we have the invincibility star here, and it, it's a chance for you to get someone else. And just a cool area. But what, guys, uh, hold on, let me just do this real quick. And you do get a one up. Okay, that's me. I like those little X's, and I'm like, oh, this is not a secret X. It's not to a star coin, it's just a little neat gimmick. And can we get a double one up here? We do not. Okay, that's fine. But anyways, what my so guys, what my plan here is is this video will finish up War Two uh, or War B. My bad. Um, we're already at the castle level, and then I'll do the secret here. And then next episode, before we do War Four Sakura Village, I'll do a kind of star coin collecting montage through all three wars. So we have formidable, formidable. Formidable Fortress here, B-Fortress, and I do like the design of it. This is a very short world, but I think, you know, oh, that is a huge clump. I think in a way this game uses this mechanic sparingly, like you still get the impact. So this, you know, tiny Kudabu giant one, and we get the ice from a witch. How do you get up there? Oh, what? Danny Mario's spin really gives you some height. All right, oh, tiny spikes, I'm gonna have a giant one here. If I remember, this is a pretty difficult fortress. Is there a star coin up here? There's a pipe, which probably means there's a star coin. And there is, all right, that works out pretty well. I'll jump up, get that. I do like how this ward has a no more castle back on, except it's enlarged. And oh man, okay. So yeah, this was a cool ward. Um, Tiny Huge Island. Like all the levels, I think Pin Size Plane or the Shell one is my favorite. Um, I do like the callback to New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I think it works out very well. How do we get to that star point? Hold up. How do you get up there? I have no idea. Alright. But anyways, we'll go on that and... I don't know how you get that star coin. 
Okay, we'll have these dry bones. Okay, they cancel each other out. We can have a checkpoint soon, we do. And we go giant. Just make sure we... there's something up there. You almost have to like come back here with the propeller suit, which I'll probably do here in the Starcoin video. And now we're outside, and I really love the background, kind of that reddish. Oh, that's not cool. Two of them. Two Parker fish. That like reddish over the blue. I like how, I just like that design. Now we have some giant enemies here. The giant, the tiny. Come on. Is there something here? I thought there was a secret. Sometimes red coins lead to star coins. So let's just follow these guys and see where they take us. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That was pretty easy. Oh man. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Okay, is this a vine block? It is not. Okay, what's up here? P switch. Oh, that activates down there. I don't feel like there's a star coin in there. Yeah, there's not. Yeah. Uh, why did I do that? I don't know. That's okay, avoid the spinies, and we have the spiny fit. Oh, man. And there's a ledge over there. Jump at me. Go! Okay, guys. I'm actually going to equip the propel motion, and I'll see you back there. Alrighty, guys. We're close here. Oh, we can actually go on this on top of there. That's cool. Coins. The propel mushroom just breaks this level down, right? No! Are you kidding me? All right, that's fine. I need a really extra hit. Get the star coin. Get in there. And I don't know how you get that second one. But that, guys, will be safe for the montage video of getting all the star coins. Just gotta avoid these Goombas. And that will complete Tiny Huge Island. Pretty tiny area, but I really do like it. Like that castle. And before we guys end the video, I'm gonna get the um and by the way, this so this area basically takes you into Mushroom Peak right there. So a bit of a shortcut if you you can rock this and rubble ruin, so you can you skip a lot of the game. But anyways. I'm actually just gonna go find find a secret extra <coughs> exit out. Um, see you guys there when I do find it. Oh, by the way, guys, you unlock a star here, so that makes a star coin a lot more easier than what I was initially thinking. Uh, you I mean, uh, an invincibility star. Still, have not found the secret exit, but I thought that was a cool trick. I'll let you guys know. But yeah, I cannot find it here. I have no idea where it's at. Okay, guys. Okay, so you are not going to believe where this secret exit is at. I was looking later in the level underwater. I was at the end. I showed you guys that clip with the cool uh, star thing there. I thought it was maybe in that pipe. But you wonder where it's at? Uh -uh, oh, my goodness. It's right here. Oh my goodness, I mean, it makes sense, the, the space in between the two coins was still, guys, I was like, oh my goodness. And that is a secret exit, so, yeah, well hidden, sure, but very interesting indeed. And that, guys, will do it for this part here. So next episode, we'll be doing a star coin quest for uh, mods 1, 3, and then this one. So, we have gotten any... We've got every exit in Mini Mega Island. Now we're going to do it here, Tin Man from the Gaming LSC. So next episode, we're going to go all the way back here to World 1, Yoshi's Island. The Star Coin Quest should be pretty interesting here. Um, I think it will be fun. I'll try to just show you where I got the Star Coins at. And yeah, guys, so hope you all enjoyed this video. Before we go into World 4, I feel like this is a good idea just to get that stuff taken care of. Until then, guys, it's been Tammy from the Gaming Odyssey, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.